Hello everyone, I am Asif Ali and I am here again with this tutorial and this time this is in Unity, this tutorial is Unity tutorial and some of my subscribers demanding from very long time they wanted some Unity tutorial so this one is for you guys and if you are my subscriber you will remember that this effect I have already created in Unreal Engine the skull aura if I will show you this this is unreal engine the same effect and in unreal engine i have these two effects one is created in cascade that is unreal engine all particle system and another one is done in niagara that is unreal engine new particle system so for those effect i have the video tutorial on my channel just go to my channel cg how and you can search both videos for cascade and for niagara and the same effect i have created now in unity so you can learn the same effect in three particle system okay so this is in unity and i'll show you here this is the effect as you can see I will see all three effects together. And this is my unity. See, almost same effect. Okay. So, I'll just close my Unreal Engine before this tutorial is Unity tutorial. So. What I have done for this, I have already created the whole effect and I will show you the breakdown of this effect in detail. First of all, I have this character, this idol. Okay. I will just Oops, the piece is just slowing down. I will just hide my effect and this is my, in my character animated character that I have downloaded from Mixamo you can download it's free and I have this here's my character and I have this material for this and this is shader based that is done in unity shader graph so for this material just the main texture and normal are connected with the albedo and normal and in emissive I am using this Fresnel so the character edges are glowing blue so the Fresnel is connected to the emissive so that's it for the character now I'll hide my character and I'll just unhide my effect one by one first of all these skulls Okay, so for these skulls, I am using the skull mesh. This is my skull mesh. You can see here, skull mesh. And for material, I am using this material. This is shader based. Again, just a fresnel connected to the color. So the edges are glowing. And in particle system, first of all, it has this pinkish purplish color and duration is 1 and size is 1.5 life is 2 and then emission is 2 skulls per second 2 particles per second then shape is sphere and the sphere radius is minimum 0 0.001 and I have some offset in this in Z direction 2 so if you have watched my Unreal Engine tutorial, you will understand why I give the offset. I'll just quickly show you. Okay, if you have your skull here at the center point and if you will rotate it, it will rotate here. I want to rotate it to take a area. So first of all you have to offset from center to here on any axis here or here any any axis so I just give some offset here and now from here is rotating 
okay so that's why i give the offset you will understand if you watch a real tutorial if you have watched so i just gave the offset here then i am using velocity our life is 3 so it has some orbital velocity in unity 18 2018 it was not there in previous version of unity so in new version you can just give the orbital uh, orbital velocity here so it starts rotating then i am using this color of our life that is pinkish and i'm not using light for this so i just turn, turn off this and i'm using mesh render mode here and i have put my skull here as a skull just put it here and the material is just the frenel so these are just rotating then the second emitter is trails so for trails i just go to the skulls and i'll just turn on my sub emitter and on birth i just created one emitter that is trail so trails linked with skull and for the trail i am using this spark material this texture okay oops i just open it so as you can see here i did i do not need to open it Just leave it. Okay, so I'm using this spark material texture, and for the sparks, I'm using duration five, random life, then size. I can randomize the size. Point one, point one, point two. That's better. And I'm using five hundred particles per second. then is fair shape and color of our life then size of our life as you can see these sparks are scaling down our life so this is the curve then i'm using this noise for the random movement of the trail i just i can increase it's too much so in the moment then just the material so nothing much in this trails then i'll just hide my trails and my skulls and i'll open this ground trail for this ground trail as you can see this is a trail that is distorting so for this first of all i'll show you the material i am using this shader for this one and this is the texture of trail and i am just distorting it with the noise here i have connected the noise you can see my all nodes and just try to get the same and here i have connected the uv in multiply here how much distortion i want that i will control in particle system so i have connected this uv and i am handling this in here custom data i am using this vector and using the curve so the distortion is high in starting then low and then high So this is a curve and for this i am using i am using horizontal billboard because these billboard are now ground facing not camera facing so horizontal billboard and from starting i am using duration 5 size 5 life 6 and emission 2 then rotation over life random 45 to 180 then this just distortion so the thing else then i'll hide this and open my smoke so i'm using this smoke and for this smoke i'm using 
this shader i'm using this sub uv this is random for random cloud pattern from photoshop and using this texture and just corrected it in my color and alpha so i'm using this smoke so i have five duration then random life random size random rotation and 50 emission the sphere shape as you can see the this shape here then color life is faded in starting then opaque then faded so there is fade in fade out then size over life scaling over life and i'm using texture sheet for by 4 and i'm using random frame from 0 to 15 and just the material so that's it now i will hide this smoke and open this rays and for this rays i am using this conical mesh you can see here this conical mesh and this texture this texture for the rays and what is happening here i am using the mesh render here and connected my slender here and my material and basically what is happening duration is 5 life is 5 rotation on y axis is random then emission is 1 and color over life this is the gradient and size over life so on x axis and z axis the curve is same because they are spreading they are becoming bigger on two axis and on the vertical axis the y axis they are scaling down so it is spreading and scaling down and just that's it nothing else no velocity just scaling up on two axis and scaling down on one axis so that is the rays then i'm using this plasma for this plasma first of all this material this shader i'm using i'm using this texture for plasma this round shape and this texture is just distorting with the noise and i am using this distortion in particle here in custom parameter i'm using as you can see distortion is low in starting and high in end if i just increase it the distortion will be much if i decrease it distortion will be low so i'm using this custom parameter and so duration is 5 life is 2 starting size is 2 5 random rotation then emission is 10 color of life is blue to purple or pink scaling over life and just distortion in custom data that's it nothing else and and horizontal will go because these are just facing my facing my ground then sparks so for these sparks using this texture again the spark texture and creation 5 random life random speed random speed random size emission is 50 and shape is con and color of life is cyan to blue to pink then size of a life these are twinkling so i use this curve and make it loop so these are twinkling then i using this noise for random movement and i'm not using light so i don't know if it that's it for this part for the tricks i'm using the same sparks particle just remove the noise and stress in stress because i'm using 
stretch billboards so size 30 leader stretching and going upward so same as sparks okay color life speed random price that's it then glow on ground this is the glow on ground for this using same texture that i used for my sparks and these are horizontal billboards because they are facing ground duration 5 life 2 size 30 random rotation doesn't matter that not do this is round so i can remove it red 3 lower life and scaling over life as you can see these are scaling that's it there's the billboard that is horizontal billboard and the scaling and random color so this so i'll just open my oil pack now this is my character these are skulls these are trails these are ground trails and then this is smoke Plasma on ground and then sparks, the random sparks, then streak and glow. So this is my whole effect. I hope you liked it and you learned something. And if you have any query, you can just comment below the video and you can suggest me more tutorials in Unity or Unreal Engine or Niagara. And uh, I, I some of my subscribers demanding to make a beam effect in unity so i have already a tutorial on beam effect beam effect in unity just check it out in all the videos before unreal engine tutorials i used to be in unity so there are some of unity videos you can check it out and that's it so subscribe my channel and share my videos like my videos comment below and keep learning thank you